Okay, part three. We have, let's cover over what we've just done in part one and two. Part one and two. Part one, we created a composition that is large enough to accommodate our LED wall. We made a 4K wall, canvas space. And we also matched our output transformation so that once we plug this, we assign this to a display, this information will actually go to the LED wall and play properly. So let's start there. We've done this all virtually. We have this here. Okay. What I want to do now is create colors in these spaces so that I can do an exact test pattern and verify before I even turn on my processor or I set my HDMI up. So we have all these colors in a column. You'll notice they're all highlighted, right? When I select something else, it goes off. Click the actual colors. I've set them. This is a source. This could be any information that you have. Logos are, or pictures from your event. Let's go back to our advanced output. You'll notice they're all green, even though I have all these set, right? I'm going to assign different layers to certain areas. So we're going to call layer 2. I'm going to rename layer 2 as our DJ facade okay we're going to rename layer three as our stage left and layer four stage right lovely they're all on so now that we named it we need to we need to center these off so x y you notice i can actually right click these placements and click and drag. So if I don't like that, I can right click. It sounds silly, but you could also do top and bottom. See how that <laughs> natively goes up to that corner here? So what we're going to do is we're going to put this off center. We're going to find center here. And we're going to find center here. Lovely. Now, all we've done is put our slices. Let me turn these off. We put our slices dead center of our canvas because Resolume natively, no matter what you add here into your layer, let's say I add a, uh, again, I'm in sources here. Um, we'll do a waterfall, something silly. If I layer it there, it's always going to center that media. It's going to put it dead center. So if I had a um, text block, it's going to center that directly. Just a better example. That, that line animator was a little too large. Okay. So whenever I click color, you'll notice to, again, show you what I mean by center. As I scale this down, it's always center of my image. So whenever we put in new media, maybe it's a new logo bug or a new video, it's going to start center. And yes, we'll get into this later in a couple in a video later. You can adjust these positions so it doesn't populate that area, right? We could always push, make sure one layer, what is this red? Maybe the DJ facade is always going to populate up here, but then we have to find center of this. And that's I say it's a lot tougher than what I'm about to show you. Again, you right click the plus minus to set back to normal. We're going to change the what these slices are actually going to be viewing. We're going to turn these slices so that they're not looking at the entire canvas, but they're going to look at a certain layer. I'm going to use a lot of different verbiage here to hopefully help explain my the thought process. Each one of these slices is going to look at a certain layer of our Resolume cake. <laughs> I've identified layer two, one, two, as the DJ facade. Layer three is stage left. Layer four as stage right. 
So you'll notice on input selection on my DJ facade, I'm going to go to the right here. It says composition. And I want that layer to just be DJ facade. It's only getting red now. If I turn off red, it's just black. Because it's only looking at the DJ facade layer. So if I move this over, it's still in this layer. If I move the blue into this layer, yeah, it works. Okay. So we're going to do that for stage left and stage right. Now again, regardless of the naming, as long as everything makes sense to you all the way down to your processor, you could just label this, you know, left, you'd label left, right, um, west, east, labeling just to help you. Notice as I click through these, I have different colors, which is perfect. This is what I want. I want to see a different color for each of my areas so that when I go to my stage and I look at my LED wall, I can say, yep, my DJ facade is completely red. My stage left is completely blue. My stage right is completely green. I'm going to go to save and close. I like saving every once in a while. We'll open that back up. Now I want to look at our output transformation. What this is going to show us is what are we going to send our LED processor? And look at that. We have blue, green, and red. Now we know we're center and we can see that our blue, you know, and our green and our red are their own areas. So we could say, yes, my left, my right, and my center wall are all independent. We got quite a far way away from what our original picture here looks like. Because now, when we look at this, we're going to have a blue wall, a red, and a green. This helps us identify, and you can even take this further to say, what, what would you like to see where? Sit with your clients, sit with your producer, and say, um, what images would you like to see where? Stage left, stage right, center, blue, red, green. Give them the option to make it easier for them to see where they want to go, especially when it comes to logos or how they want to have a certain video displayed. Wonderful. So we've done it. We now know that when we go to send our LED wall, we have blue, green, red. They're all independent. They're where they should be, and they're matching our Nova Star. Last but not least of this part, we're going to right-click your output device, so this screen here, and you're going to select most likely a display that's either probably number two or number three that will have the 3840-2160 set. That's going to be your Nova Star, and that's going to be your LED processor. Those are going to be a different line of videos that explains how to change your processing rates and how to make sure those resolutions match. If you're not sure which wall is on your output, let's say I did this to myself. This is my favorite. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I can't do anything now. I'm stuck. I have my mouse, but I'm stuck. Escape. You hit escape. You go back. It should still be here. One last one. Virtual output. Display one. Con control, shift, A. I want to turn this to a virtual output. I'm like getting you out of those areas. Okay, well, what happens now that we see that this says it's a 1920-1080? Already, I messed it up, Garrett. What do I do? You'll see we have, just like your input selection, your outputs when you select these areas, it gives you the width and height changing. Select your main wall here, and then make that width 3840 and your height. 2160 and now we're back to our virtual output because it does happen sometimes wonderful i uh, will see you in the next training tutorial